Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have an unboxing of my new St. Crispin's Mod 646. This is a very special shoe. Um, my journey on this started a long time ago, and I will release a video on the St. Crispin's journey. Uh, but for today, just wanted to present these shoes, and uh, we'll uh, get into the rest of the details at a later time. Thanks for watching. Hey, I've organized all my playlists on this channel so that you're able to easily find different types of shoes, different brands of shoes, as well as uh, finding all my shoe battles, uh, worth the price shoe reviews, etc., all in one place. Enjoy. All right, so very excited. This is St. Crispin's. Uh, this is a pair of shoes that uh, I've been working on uh, for quite a long time. So this is the unboxing. This, oh my gosh, that's lavender potpourri. Who'd have thunk, right? So we take this out. So this was um, a shoe that they had as one of their available models, uh, but I changed it around quite a bit. Um, so we untie. This is in Russian calf. And I chose a lighter color, but not a light color. Um, and I chose to have the Norvegian stitching on it. Um, and I don't, I think that that's just a nice wrapping on one of those silicon packets. And then this is the sole. Got my initials there. And you can see that it's a pegged sole. And it has a, a, a toe plate on it. So... So far, very, very fine craftsmanship. So far, everything good. Perfectly lasted trees. This shoe bag uh, has St. Crispin's ties on it, but the, the bags themselves are unembroidered, just black uh, velvet. For lack of a better word, I'm no expert on those materials. They don't make a shoe out of it, I'm generally not interested. And here's the other one. And there you are. You can see on the side. So, I actually thought about getting WI on one and then SG on the other one, but I, uh, I changed my mind. I figured having my own initials was probably better. So, anywho, uh, thanks for watching.